Hi, and welcome to this video on setting up R. The R videos website is videos.blueprint.org if you need to see the other videos in this series. To set up R, we can visit the website that has the comprehensive R archive network, and that's at cran.r-project.org. So let's go to that website now. And here it is. So we can download and install R for Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. For this installation, I'm going to use Windows. There are two subdirectories for the R installation, and I'm going to choose the base directory, which is the main part of the R distribution. I can download R. The current version in this video is 2.13.2. .2. Don't worry if that number has changed by the time you see this video, because R is always under development. Go ahead and click the download button. And I'm going to select to run that when it's downloaded. Now that download is going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to stop the video now. Start it up again in a second. Okay, the download's done, and we're going to. Uh, dismiss this box. This says user account control. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes to the computer? And yes I do. I want it to install R. I'm going to select my language as English. And there's the install wizard. This is the GNU public license, which means it's freely available. And the default installation for R is under C colon backslash program files backslash R and then R dash the version number. There's a dialog box that allows us to select the different components of R. And I'm going to choose the basic manuals, the technical manuals, PDF help pages, uh, and all the other documents that are there, and some of the test files. I'll accept the defaults for customizing the R package. And the Start Menu folder will be just a directory called R. Uh, I'm not going to select a desktop icon, but you might want to do so. I will have a Quick Launch icon. And there it goes. So we'll skip ahead to see when this is done. And then we'll run R. The R install is completed. There's a few other things before I get R going that I'll show you on the cran-r-project.org uh, cran website, the main website you see here. There's a bunch of information on the side, including information about the software. But most importantly, down here is the documentation for R. I'm going to click on the manuals link for the documentation to show you that there are extensive manuals that are available for the R package. Included in the extensive manuals, I'll just expand this window here, is a PDF introduction to R, a definition of the R language, I'm going to open these all up, uh, a very large R reference index, which is over 3,500 pages long, and information on writing R extensions, and our installation administration. So let me just get up the um, two documents that I downloaded. This one's the R language definition. It was one of the documents that's available on the website. It was written by the core R development team, and it has an extensive overview of the type of programming constructs you can make in the R language. So refer to this manual, which again the R language definition, if you're going to write programs and functions in the R language. Put that one away. The introduction to R, which is here, is a gentle introduction into the R language that will walk you through 
the types of things that you can make in the R language uh, in terms of data structures that will hold numbers or strings, uh, the information uh, about how R uses vectors, and information about how, how R creates matrices. So again, the manual information on the comprehensive R archive network is uh, pretty amazing. It's very well documented, and all the documentation that's on the website is free. So if you don't want to go and buy a book on R, you can get it all from the website. So let's go and find R. Here it is. It's installed on my... Uh, I'm just going to close my web browser for the moment. Here's R. When R comes up, it has a console window, which has this here. So the console window is where you type in command lines to run R, and R is an interpreted language. That means that uh, as you program it, it, it uh, interprets the instructions and runs them. Another feature about R is that variables in R sort of stay in memory and you can manipulate them on the command line. So um, R does a few fairly simple things from the get-go. One is it does some simple arithmetic, so I can add 12 plus 45, and it will give me an answer of 57. Uh, I can also assign that to a variable. Let's call the variable x. And we use the assignment operator, which is this arrow pointing towards the variable name. And we can assign that the value of 12 plus 45. And now we can look at x by simply typing x, and we see x is 57. We can also carry out other operations, uh, including uh, multiplication, division, and uh, like a, any good computational system that has to deal with mathematics, there is order of operations that are implicit. So for example, if we're going to type 12 times in bracket 13 plus 6, that gives us a result which is different from the result of 12 times 13 plus 6 with no brackets. See the first one is 228 because it's 12 times 13 plus 6 all added together first before the multiplication by 12. So the order of operations in arithmetic is very important in R as it is in any computational system that has to do arithmetic. Let's go back to the presentation for a moment. So we've downloaded R from the Comprehensive R Archive Network. We've looked at the manuals uh, and we understand that almost all the information we need to develop uh, statistical analyses and software is available in the manuals that are freely available. So for the next video, we're going to go ahead and learn how to open and save data in the R language. Thanks for coming out. We'll see you in the next video.